Some more stuff in the area. There's like some Sanol Khan and then yes. some, some onsen, some hot springs. We're gonna go back. And then I think we'll go to Kachibuikyo. Yes. Looking forward. We're gonna have a stroll in the forest. Yes. Yay! Exciting. Our camera is going to drive. Yes. Yoroshiku. 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 We're now on the north side of the station. We're gonna go through the station and to the south side. not many people on the road it's real really calm there are some big roads but not that scary as it would be like for example in Osaka or Tokyo oh, like yeah. it's not nothing of the sort so yes it's a Izumui is really a nice place to drive <laughs> whose name I forgot. Wasn't it Kushinada Hime? Yes, Kushinada Hime, Hime. Yeah. his beautiful okay. wife, Kushinada Hime. After slaying the Yamato no Orochi, he was like, oh, what a lovely place. And then he was like, it's, it's gonna be my house. And then he made this shrine. Ojamashimasu. of its mane, of its fur, would grow in differently depending on whether it was predicted to be a good year or a bad year. You would look at the horse and it would be an omen for the how lucky the year would be. And there's no real horses anymore at the shrine, but they do have this lovely little statue of a horsey friend. Behind the main shrine is where the tomb of that sacred horse um, is said to be. 
You can, maybe you can leave a carrot or a sugar cube for him. Yeah, the ants I, will come. I would not recommend actually leaving a carrot or a sugar cube. I really want to chase the water. You really want to? I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's just gonna believe. That it's salty. Salty. believe it's salty. It's called the salty whale, so. This one is two bowls, two claps, one bowl. Coin is good. The five yen coin is good because it is called goen, which is the same kanji reading for good, good fortune, good luck. in the way that it's the same architecture style which is the oldest one in Japan. Taisha Tsukuri. At Taisha we have to see it from afar but yeah. since here we can see it much closer. Yeah, that point of interest is as you can see on the roof there's the chigi, the, th the cross things like this. Uh, because they're pointed you can tell that uh, it's a male god. So the chigi represent a building that has a kami, a god inside of it. And the pointed chigi represent a male god. If it were a female god, they would be flat rather than pointed. So, Susanna is one of my favorite gods, but also I, I really, really like the Inari because the infestation is the fox, and I really like the foxes. <laughs> This used to be, I guess, a pine tree that it was like two trees kind of twisted or bound together. Uh, that tree is unfortunately no longer with us, but they made a little site in memorial to it. This is one of the seven mysteries of Susan. Hi, hello. This is the tool of the horsey who's uh, whose statue we saw at the front there. And here's a sign explaining a little bit more accurately that all the horses that, that were given to the shrine had their fur turn white no matter what color horse they were to begin with. That's how they would predict the luck of the country for the coming year. Sticking out in the middle this there. Is... But it's the one without a shadow. There was a bad harvest in the old leaf, but that tree was casting a shadow on it. We are at another of the seven mysteries of Suusa. It's the Hoshinamera. And you can see in the valley, there's kind of a dip between the two mountains um, that's quite smooth. And a long time ago, there was nothing growing there. And you could see kind of something kind of sparkling. You can kind of see it a little bit now, something white. And a long time ago, people would use this to make divinations about how the harvest would be for the upcoming year. One of the mysteries of Susa. There it is. Yay. And, and then next up is the onsen. Yes. Yes. yes.
the beer. Well, we can. We can. We can. But if you're driving, you're not allowed to drink at all. Also true. The level of alcohol tolerance in your blood is zero.